Hey guys, today we wanted to bring you one of our favorite bang for your buck mobility drills. This is something that you can do in just a minute with really, really simple equipment. All you need is a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball or a golf ball, anything round. Uh, and we're just going to step on that ball and roll out your foot a little bit. So the reason I really like this one is that it attacks the posterior chain, uh, the posterior fascia lines, so the fascia that runs up the back side of your body. Um, and in doing so, it's going to really help loosen up tight hamstrings or a tight lower back. Now I usually like to keep a lacrosse ball under my desk, so I can just do this while I'm doing some work on my computer. But a great time to do it is if you keep a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball tennis ball by your breakfast table, you can do it in the morning uh, to loosen yourself up and uh, be ready to go for your day. So what we're going to do first is a little test and retest for Teresa. So she's going to stand up and just to see how her hamstrings feel, she's going to reach towards the ground. Good. Oh, she's tight. <laughs> so let's just do that one more time. And we'll take a look at the side and Teresa, see where your hands dangle. So they're probably, if you extend your fingertips, they're probably about uh, an inch or to two inches above her toes. Um, so that just gives us a good idea of where Teresa is right now. So she's going to take a seat and she's just going to show us on her foot the spots that she's going to roll. So we're going to do three spots. Here we go. So we're going to do uh, sort of three motions. So the first one is going to be a U-shape roll. So she's going to start under the ball of her big toe, roll down the inside arch towards her heel, then she'll cross the top of her heel, and then she'll roll up the outside arch of her foot towards the ball of her little toe. And then she'll roll back down, across the heel, and up to the ball of the big toe. So that's the first uh, part of this roll. The second part would be to keep the ball along the ball of your feet, just under your toes. You're going to just step on it and you're going to do toe crunches. So your toes are going to flex and extend over the ball. And you do a couple under the big toe and then let the ball roll down and do a couple under the middle toe and let the ball roll down and do a couple under the baby toe. The last thing she'll do is Teresa will put the ball right in the center of her arch and she's just going to roll forward and backwards to let the ball really dig into the arch. Uh, it, you might feel a little bit of crackling under your foot while you do this one. That is totally normal. So we're going to get Teresa to actually step on the ball and we'll watch her roll. And so she's going to apply some good pressure onto it. She's rolling down the inside arch of her foot across her heel and up the outside arch and back and repeat and we're going to get her to do that about five times. She's trying to really keep her weight over this. I usually say something like a 7 out of 10 on the pain scale is appropriate. So it shouldn't be killing you, but we still are on the pain scale, not on the pleasure scale. So it should feel a little bit uncomfortable. And again, Teresa's standing, but you can do this from a seated position as well, as long as you can apply some good pressure over that foot. Okay, so next let's go into those toe crunches. So she's just got that ball pinned under the ball of her big toe and she's just going to do about three or so crunches and then she's just going to slide that ball along so it's under sort of the second, third toe area. And again, depending on if you're using a golf ball or a tennis ball or a softball, the size of the ball might cover a different surface area of your foot. You just want to make sure you're covering a little bit of area all the way across the uh, ball of your feet. Good. And once she's done that, she's going to bring the ball right to the center of her arch and she's just going to roll back and forth, applying some really good pressure. Do you feel any crackling under there? Yeah. <laughs> so a little bit of crackling under there. And again, totally normal. And so for today, we're just going to get Teresa to do the one side, but you can do both. And then I'm just going to zoom back out here and Teresa is going to retest and we're going to see what it looks like. So T, if you want to reach down again. And she's got her fingers right about to her toes now. So she probably gained an extra inch or inch and a half. Well, actually her left hand's right on the ground. That's great. Yeah, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't look like much. 
And to be fair, I could be just stretched from the first time that I did it, but I know how my body feels on the inside and this side does actually feel looser when I, when I reach down. Um, you can visibly see my hand on the one side. I'm not actually putting that on just for you guys. Um, <laughs> It, it's legitimate. It, it did loosen it up on a little bit more on that one side. Great. So Teresa's going to do the other side on her own off camera and we'll leave you guys to that one. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments.